So welcome to Prague. This is absolutely amazing. There's a DJ playing here. We have uh, booked ourselves a uh, boat cruise along the river. I feel at home here. Today we are in Vinohrady, which is a very lovely part of Prague. It's um, called Vinohrady because uh, it translates as uh, wine vineyards, gardens. Vineyards, vineyards. Of, yeah, yeah. wine gardens. And uh, back in 14th century, this area was covered with uh, uh, wine yards. Yes, with Marco. Mm. Right now we are in front of a Prague TV tower and what you can see over there are those little uh, creepy barcode face babies and you will see those a little bit later in the video as well. We have probably made our way up to the TV tower, having a pretty good view of our park. It's not overcrowded and it's about five pounds. Very good deal. We're done with this place, let's go. We are like totally famous now. Yep. Featured here and everything. Before we leave Prague, there are three things on our bucket list that uh, we need to do. One of them is uh, John Lennon Wall. According to Wikipedia, this used to be an ordinary wall. However, in 1980s, uh, some students started to write some uh, graffiti on it. And it was mainly inspired by uh, Beatles songs and John Lennon. And now this wall is called John Lennon Wall. What happened in 1988, though, was that uh, young people and students got very frustrated with the communist regime and started to write some uh, political messages on it and uh, this wall was cleaned up several times and repainted and uh, a couple of days later more graffiti appeared so they never got rid of it and nowadays as you can see there are many people admiring this wall uh, because it is a symbol of uh, free speech as such. The second one is the bar-coded uh, babies. So these freaky looking babies are the artwork of a beloved Czech uh, sculptor called David Chesney and they have barcodes on their face because according to David people nowadays are more products than actual human beings. Thing number three is the dancing house. We are now approaching the dancing house. What makes it special is that's the first post-communism modern architecture in Prague and it's supposed to be like two people dancing. I think Ginger Rogers and Fred Astaire were the inspiration behind it. Cheers. Check beer. Uh, we're finishing off our tour of Prague here on the riverside. We've ticked off everything we wanted to see. There's still loads more to see, but this needs to be for the next time. So thank you for watching. We'll be back in two weeks' time. But until then, take care of yourself and each other. Take care of our beards. And Olga Mohara.